Citizens, it's that time you're officially in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I'm the Wizard Uncle James. I hope everybody's having a good day out there. So, got my MAP Shield 2.0 chambered in 45 APC, uh, ACP. I'm sorry. Uh, got the hollows. I got the 7 plus 1 the extension on there. Um, the pinky extension. Got my spin mag. I wanted to talk to everybody about robbers um, and thieves and how they put the public. And basically how they put the public in danger. Let me tell you what I mean by that. Robbers and thieves that go around robbing and people and things like that is bad enough. But there's another angle from this that we need to discuss. Robbers that go around robbing and stealing drug stashes puts the public at large in harm's way. And I'm going to tell you why. When you have the neighborhood drug dealer you're never going to stop the sale of illicit drugs, period, point blank. But when you have somebody that robs this particular person, and then the rumors came out, come out about who did this, that puts everybody in danger because the streets may not always tell the truth. You know, there's always a lot of chattering in the streets about what's going on and who did what. But I thought about this. It's something I had always discussed offline, but I wanted to talk about it. So, yesterday, I happened to be watching the first 48, and uh, there was a case in St. Louis where a 19-year-old woman lost her life. Um, she had picked up her son from school, and she was sitting in the car eating and what have you. Excuse me. And the car pulled up on the side of her and opened fire, and she wound up getting, you know, taken off the planet. Her brother went into hiding. Because the story came out, he was the intended target because he had went around and he robbed a guy out of some guns and out of some money and out of some drugs. And that guy wanted him bad. And that guy thought that he was in the car and he found out he killed this guy's sister. Let me tell you something. A lot of the killings, we talk about senseless violence out here. A lot of the killings that go on in the street between the street dudes, it's not always just a violent act just because. A lot of this has to do with these jack boys and these guys that go around stealing stashes and what have you. And in the street game, if you let somebody rob you and you know who that person is and you don't stop them, they're going to continue to do it. I said all that to say this. You have to be careful who you be around. If you have family and friends that's into this, you have to think about it. Is it worth your life? Because if you know your brother, your cousin, your friend, your husband, your wife, whoever goes around doing this stuff, you don't have to participate, but they're putting you in harm's way. But they're putting the public in harm's way because when they go out in public, you know the streets have this thing that say on site. I'm going to smash you on site. That means the minute I see you, I'm going to let you have it. Don't matter where we at. On site is very dangerous. And on site also makes people assume that you're somewhere that you may not be. I know your car. You got a distinct car with tinted windows. I know that's your car. I assume that you're in a car and I open fire on the car and then find out it's not you. It's somebody that's affiliated with you or a family member. A lot of these killings are retaliatory killings for things like this. I'm telling you what I know. A lot of people that have went around where I grew up in New Orleans robbing people, it cost them their life. Uh, they put other lives in danger. Innocent people lost their lives behind it. So I just wanted to talk about that and let everybody know you have to be careful. You have to always be on alert. For you damn robbers and you thieves, stop that shit. You're putting us all in fucking danger and harm's way. 
Hit me in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Until next time, stay safe, stay on, stay on high, high alert.